Yeah. Everything, everything that Yeshua, that Jesus wants us, will happen before his return. Or all, everything is happening in yeah. 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 I agree. Lord, standards, pencils, red pictures, the money places, troubles from time, false claims. I mean, it's here. Like, I've never seen it before. And yeah, we could be going home soon. Exactly. I agree with you. And when the Supreme Court ruled on the gay marriage and said made it official all across America, it was like that was strike three. It was like the final abomination, you know, and uh, America's now embraced it. The free leaders of the world and everything. We're seeing uh, earthquakes, of course, and sinkholes, and, and the water's turned blood red 24 times in the last four years. And look at ISIS. They're, they're like a modern-day Nephilim themselves. I mean, they're going around just, just slaughtering people with the same anti I mean, they're killing Christians. It's a genocide. And I just got a report today that says Jews have been warned not to visit 40 countries of the world, not to travel. This was their own travel, uh, the, the Ministry of, of Travel or Transportation in Israel, issuing that warning to their people. Don't be traveling. 40 countries as anti-Semitism rises. I believe, you're right, that we are living in the final days, just like it said in the book of in Genesis, these are the days of Noah, and we are we are seeing it. Let me throw another thing at you. I want to ask you about monster high dolls in just a minute, but first, Madonna. Madonna is is on the ninth of. She's starting a ten days of off, in which she's doing this these concerts, sold out stadiums, and it's called the desecration of the bride and the arrival of the fallen angels, and you, it's unbelievable what she's doing. Have you heard of this? Absolutely. And, and this is this is very, very deliberate. Just like when she was at the Super Bowl halftime show, and anyone who watched that and didn't play, basically it was part and parcel of a full-blown, a full Luciferian Illuminati celebration at our halftime football game at the Super Bowl. Are you kidding me? It's absolutely orchestrated and it's deliberate. The desecration of the bride, they know something is up. They don't know the day of the hour, nobody does, but they know something is up. And this is extremely deliberate. As you fall, everywhere I go, people are looking at September. And I realize, you know, we're only, we're just weeks away from the day this happening. Nothing may happen, but right. everything may happen. We just well, don't know. Right, we don't know exactly right, you said it exactly right, but we can see in September with all of these events, whether it be the UN General Assembly, the Pope's, the Pope's visit to America, his speech to Congress and to the United Nations, I mean, we've got, we've got all, I mean, we can go through a list here, 30 things. So obviously, the world knows, the world, the global elitists, the Luciferians, they know and they're, do you think they're looking around among themselves who is the Antichrist? Do you think they're, that that kind of conversation is going on right now? I do. Look, we interviewed a man by the name of Chris Blake uh, for Watchers 5, and this man was also on the History Channel. It's where I saw him on Red Nestle's Decoded, and I just about fell out of my chair. He talked about that the, that a group of men and women call themselves the sons of the Nephilim, and they are on earth, and they are awaiting the arrival. They already know who he is. Um, and, and they're awaiting uh, him to take his place. I mean, this is what people don't understand. There's a cabal. These, these people like Madonna, um, she just may be a front person, but she's probably in the inner circle. But she's just, she's been satanically anointed with all due respect, in my opinion. That's my opinion. I agree. But she, she, she's been satanically anointed as well as Katie Perry and others. Um, yes. Uh, Harry Potter, uh, another example of, of someone who's satanically anointed, and that's what teaches witchcraft, plain and simple. It's and a springboard into the occult. I've, I've also heard, yes, I've also heard uh, that, okay, you got Jay Z and Beyonce definitely involved with the uh, the Illuminati. And also, absolutely. And then there's the uh, uh, Madonna, uh, Johnny Depp. And Johnny Depp is now getting ready to play, is a movie just come out called The Black Mass. It has to do with, with Whitey Bulger and, you know, and the mafia. But he plays a character that is literally like Lucifer almost, okay? He take this is one of the most darkest things you'll ever see in your life. So these there are certain actors and, and singers and, and entertainers that are definitely been uh, Lady Gaga takes a bath in human blood before she goes out and does a concert. 
One quart of human blood, seven quarts of cow blood. Bathes in it, washes herself in the blood before she goes on stage. This is, I mean, these are all absolutely people that are involved in witchcraft, sorcery, satanic worship, and are they're, they're begging for the fallen one to rise, aren't they? Absolutely. I mean, look, there's, there's something that's going on. Everything is pointing to September. You've got the blood moons, you've got the Shemitah, you've got the Pope coming, um, you know, you've got Rosh Hashanah, you've got the Feast of Trumpets. I mean, this is, this is it. And in the meantime, all the signs, all the signs are firing on all eight cylinders. Everything's happening at the same time. And here's just a scenario for people. What if the Pope comes and there's a joint session and remember, this is a religious leader, and you got to understand something. The Catholic Church is 1.8, uh, at least a billion adherents. There's 1.8 billion Christians on the planet. At least a billion of those are Catholic, perhaps more. What's interesting is, what if the Pope was at the UN, along with Obama, to reveal the so-called extraterrestrial presence? What, what if this is what they roll out? That's the game changer. That's the game changer right there. <laughs> that would be... Folks, that is L.A. Marzulli, <clears throat> and I'm interviewing him. He's at the airport getting ready to get on a plane, but he brings out this possibility. What if Barack Obama, President Barack Obama, and Pope Francis use the stage of the United Nations to reveal the fallen ones, to reveal the extraterrestrial, or let's just say it this way, to reveal the Antichrist and is, I mean, because really that's what we're talking about here. The Antichrist. Uh, let's see what, uh, <laughs> I mean, look, folks, I don't know. L.A. Marzulli brings this up in an unbelievable uh, interview. You can listen to it in its entirety. If you go to my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com, and uh, you'll see, if you go to the live show page, you go there, the archives are right there. You can click on it, scroll back, uh, and find the interview with L.A. Marzulli. Uh, you can also find it on new live stream at the Paul Begley channel on new live stream. If you got Roku satellite television, you can go to, to the live stream channel and find Paul Begley and scroll back and find the L.A. Marzulli interview of last week but it's a fascinating interview and it's it's powerful uh and uh ellie marzulli brings up this you know when he says the extraterrestrial what he really means is the the fallen one the antichrist himself or also known as homo satanus which is half man half the devil uh this is the antichrist if you will coming into play are you serious anyway listen to the interview and it's right in the word of God that he's bringing out. Is this the hour? Is this the September to remember? Well, we'll wait and see. Don't miss today's live broadcast. I'll be on today again, 12 noon Eastern, three hours of power at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. I'll see you there. Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're living in the age of the Antichrist. We're living in the last days.